Hi, and welcome to Medicine Past, Present and Future. My name's Dr Nick, and I'm the past. And my name's Dr Isabel, and I'm the future. And together, we're, we're the present. present. Now, one of the features of the COVID-19 pandemic is we all got used to having our temperature checked pretty much everywhere we went. Yeah, it seemed like you couldn't walk in anywhere without someone pointing one of those little water pistol type things at your forehead and taking your temperature. It got a bit unnerving. So let's talk temperature, Dr Isabel. And first up, what is the normal temperature for us humans? Well, it depends a bit on where you take it. So if you're taking it on your forehead, your outside skin, it tends to be a bit cooler, around 36.5 degrees. Inside, it's a bit warmer, normally around 37 degrees. Or in the old fashioned terms, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, as my mum would have said. <laughs> Actually, talking of my mum, she had the old mercury thermometer, which she would pop into my mouth or under my arm. And those were really accurate. But these days, we've got lots of different devices for taking temperature. Yeah, we can take temperature foreheads in the ear, under the arm or in the mouth. Actually, you know, when I take my dog to the vet, she pops the thermometer in. But I, I think we'll draw the line at that, Dr Nick. Yeah, me too. But seeing we're here, why don't we see which one's most accurate? OK. I'm going to put one under my arm, this one, one in my mouth. Yeah. The and then finally... All right, we've got 36.5. 36.3. 37.2. Oof. And that says 36.8. There you go. So it seems like they're all pretty accurate. And the good news is, Dr Nick, you seem pretty healthy. <laughs> now, we reckon that anything over about 37.8 counts as a fever. So, Dr Isabel, what's going on? What's our body actually doing? So a fever is caused by a compound known as pyrogen, and it's produced when a white blood cell meets a germ and sets off a reaction. And recent research has shown that raising our body temperature actually helps our immune system fight infections such as viruses and bacteria. So, say you've got a fever, what should you do, Dr Nick? <laughs> well, certainly not what we used to do hundreds of years ago, because <laughs> back then physicians believed that fever was due to plethora, a congestion of the blood. And if you had too much blood, Dr Isabel, what would you have done? Uh, I probably would have donated it. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't have blood donation then, but they certainly did bleed the patient. Which would have done them no good at all. <laughs> no, just hasten their demise. So should we be taking paracetamol or ibuprofen if we have a fever? Well, it's a great question. We now understand that fever is nature's way of helping fight the infection, and nature's pretty good at getting things right. But you can also feel pretty lousy with the temperature, so then maybe take something. But Dr Isabel, what about with children? Uh, so you're referring to febrile fits, which parents get really worried about. They're caused by a sudden rise in temperature, and it can make a child have a convulsion, which is pretty scary. Research has shown that giving a child paracetamol or ibuprofen, it won't actually stop that rise in fever. So what I say to people is don't treat the thermometer, treat the child. If they're hot and OK, let the fever do its job of fighting the infection. But hot and miserable, treat. But there's a question for you, Dr Isabel. Parents often blame teething for fever. Now, is this true? No. Teething does not cause significant fever, diarrhoea, runny nose or rash. It can make a child a bit miserable, a bit whingy and sort of dribbly, but the only thing that teething really causes is, well, teeth. Now, final question for you, Dr Isabel. Why did the mattress go to the doctor? Oh, this is another one of your dad jokes, isn't it, Dr Nick? Because it had spring fever. <sighs> it's because it's a mattress, you know, and it has springs. You, you realise that you have to explain a joke, it's well. not funny. Oh, that, okay. that's the, the I way. thought it was quite good, actually. I like that one. <sighs>